Stance is not something that can easily be put into words. We know what it is when we see it, though. Stance is the way that we perceive ourselves in a congregation and the way the congregation perceives us. It is the approach we use to gaining the congregation's confidence. Our stance is usually determined by the preacher and the congregation before we ever open our mouths, by the way we approach the pulpit and the way we approach the people. Here are some examples of stances that preaching can take before the congregation. Are you Mr. Dunlop? Yeah. Well, either you're closing your eyes to a situation you do not wish to acknowledge, or you are not aware of the caliber of disaster indicated by the presence of a pool table in your community. Well, you got trouble, my friend. Right here, I say trouble right here in River City. Why, sure, I'm a billiard player. Certainly mighty proud to say I'm always mighty proud to say it. I consider that the hours I spend with a cue in my hand are golden. Help me cultivate horse sense and a cool head and a keen eye. Did you ever take and try to give an ironclad leave to yourself from a three-rail billiard shot? But just as I say it takes judgment, brains, and maturity to score in a bop line game, I say that any boo can take and shove a ball in a pocket. And I call that sloth the first big step on the road to the depths of degradation. I say first medicinal wine from a teaspoon, then beer from a bottle. And the next thing you know, your son is playing for money in a pinchback suit. And listening to some big out-of-town Jasper, hearing him tell about horse race gambling. Not a wholesome trotting race, no, but a race where they sat down right on the horse. Like to see some stuck-up jockey boy setting on Dan Pat. Well, it's been a quiet week in Lake Wobegon, Minnesota, my hometown. Out on the edge of the prairie, got a little bit warmer here this last week, and there's blue sky out for a while, and so it was good snow for snowballs, and some of the boys were practicing with them and trying to get that high arc on snowballs Wednesday afternoon. Beautiful snow packed in nice and hard, and they were seeing what kind of a trajectory they could get, throwing them high and long and going deep down Elm Street towards McKinley Street. And then just as one took off, Pastor Inkfist came walking down the sidewalk out of the Lutheran Church, and the snowball hung up there in the air long enough for you to think about the problem of evil and about <laughs> God's omnipotence, and if God is truly omnipotent, does he not have the power to change the trajectory of a snowball <laughs> if he should so choose? And it hit him, it hit him in the right shoulder, and he jerked back, and you could see anger fumes coming out of the top of his head, and you could understand how wars begin, right? <laughs>
How do you stand before your congregation? Are you apologetic? Do you tell stories? Are you authoritarian? Are you inferior? No one stance is appropriate for every situation. Pray about the stance you take each Sunday and let the Holy Spirit lead you on this.